Hello everyone. It isn't always that you find the person you think you could spend the rest of your life with. Most of the time, we don't really know that we're actually in love. We confuse love with infatuation, which doesn't help our relationship. So, how do you know if you're really in love? In this video, we're talking about all of them. Number 1. You respect each other. In a proper relationship, respect is a key factor. No one wants to be with someone who doesn't respect them. So if you respect each other, you're definitely in love. If you don't respect each other, it may simply be a case of infatuation. By respect, we don't mean you have to open doors for your partner or give them expensive gifts. We mean the simpler things in life. For example, if you'll be aware of your partner's comfort zones and won't push them out of it, they will also do the same for you. More importantly, you'll agree to disagree. This is one of the most important things about a relationship. Everyone has their opinions and everyone feels passionately about them. In a relationship, sometimes both partners need to see the big picture and take a diplomatic approach. If you're really in love, you'll both understand this. Number two, you care about each other. People in casual relationships don't have the same type of attachment. It's usually on the surface and most of the time, it's just about physical intimacy. Whereas people in love actually care about each other. They find time to call each other. When in love, you'll constantly be worried about the well-being of the other person. This is because you care about the other person. Similarly, they care about you as well. If that is absent from your relationship, then maybe you haven't gotten there yet. Otherwise, you might not be in love with the other person. Caring is something you generally associate with love. For example, your parents may show the same type of care because they love you. Of course, different people may have different ways of showing they care. Some might be very expressive about it, while others might be a little more quiet about it. All right, enough about caring. Let's talk about the next point. Number three, you'll act weirdly around them. Have you ever gone on a date with someone you know and behaved in a weird way? Well, chances are you might be in love with them. It's normal to behave weirdly around people you know nothing about. If you're behaving weirdly around people you already know, then you are either afraid of them or in love with them. This is mainly because your brain releases chemicals inside of your head, which make you act weirdly around a certain person. These chemicals are responsible for feeling love and, at the same time, fear. Even if you've been in a relationship for years, you may still act weirdly around your partner. Whether or not you choose to show this side of you is up to your personality. If you aren't very expressive, you may act weirdly and get away with it. On that note, check out our video, 5 Habits That Reveal A Lot About Your Personality. Meanwhile, let's go to the next point. Number 4. You're very protective of them. When you're in love with a person, you feel this inner need to protect them. This emotion comes from the fact that you care about the person. Because of this reason, you feel a strong need to protect them. Some might even have the tendency to nurture their partners. You won't feel this if you're just infatuated with someone. Because when you're infatuated with someone, you like them for their positive qualities. You have no idea what kind of person they actually are. Whereas when you're in love with someone, you already know everything about their personality. You appreciate the good side and accept the side that you don't like. Since we're talking about personalities, check out our video, find out your real personality type. Number five, you're jealous, but not irrational. Jealousy plays an integral part of each and every relationship. Everyone feels jealous for one reason or another. There's nothing to feel guilty about. It's okay to be jealous. The problem lies when the jealousy is irrational. Many of you have dated people who were extremely jealous for no reason. This isn't healthy at all, and chances are they aren't really in love with you. They're just infatuated with you. That infatuation will fade in time. On the other hand, in a healthy relationship, jealousy will not be too overbearing. It won't override the feelings of love. Look, you can't get rid of jealousy. It's something that everyone feels. You can be rational about it, which you will be if you're really in love. Number six, you get sweaty around them. This is a symptom that's found in the early stages of a relationship. It's also not common with everyone. Many people often claim that they feel thirsty, nervous, nauseous, and even sweaty when they meet their partners. It is common for a lot of people. 
Don't worry, because this goes away after you become comfortable with them. Until then, though, you'll constantly feel anxious when you're around them. Yes, it is annoying, but it's exactly how love works. On the other hand, you will not feel the same way if it's just infatuation. This is one of the ways that you can probably find out if you're really in love or not. Moving on. Number 7. You feel excited to see them. This is another feeling that is greatly associated with being in love. We all feel excited to see the one we love. It isn't any different for you. Whether it's returning home from work or after a long trip, you'll feel excited to see your partner. This excitement will be more active in the early stages of your relationship, while in the later stages, this will mature to comfort. In an infatuation or just a passionate fling, the excitement will be limited to your intimacy. You may not be excited to see each other otherwise. This is because your brain doesn't associate the other person with comfort or love. Therefore, the chemical reaction will be different and you won't feel the same level of excitement. Number 8. You take pride in their success. Think about this scenario. You've been dating your partner for a year and a half. One day they get a promotion at work or maybe complete a project that they were working hard on. You'll find yourself happy for their success. It'll happen naturally at first and you'll find it unrealistic. Why unrealistic? Because by nature, we humans are selfish. We aren't capable of thinking about anyone else but us. So when you start being happy for someone else, you'll be pleasantly surprised at yourself. Your partner will be happy if you succeed at something as well. This is why if you end up in a relationship and they aren't happy for your success, maybe you should look somewhere else. On to the next one. Number 9. You'll be afraid of losing them. This is the clearest indication that you're in love. They say love makes you brave. I mean, it might, but it also turns you into a frightened cat. You're always worried and scared of losing them. Similarly, they'll also worry about losing you. This is why you respect each other. Find diplomatic truce and make sure that no matter what you say or do, you never cross certain boundaries. If you're in a relationship and you aren't scared of losing them, I'm afraid you aren't quite ready for love yet. You've probably jumped into the relationship wagon because you were tired of being single. Perhaps you were single and afraid of missing out. Whatever the reason may be, if you aren't scared of losing them, you may not be in love. So, are you really in love? Do you or your partner display any of the things we just mentioned? Let us know in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait! What kind of bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.